When I'm in the water, it's a very spiritual experience for me. Everything slows down, and your racing thoughts can slow down, your heart rate can slow down, your breathing can slow down. You're reprogramming your whole body. To override that instinct to breathe, that is the greatest control. You kind of train yourself to just take a deep breath and just hold on and listen to your heart. Water is my church. Namaste. Namaste. Been diving my whole life. So diving made me the person I am from, I mean, birth. It has only brought me more happiness and, and more calm and ease and control over my emotions. It's just this give, 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 give relationship. It never takes. To Tessa, being in the water isn't just a job or a hobby. She learned to swim before she learned to walk. She even told me it's in her blood. And it's in everyone's blood, but I know what she means. So this is the barn up here. We spent a lot, a lot of time out here. Growing up, no one knew the Florida Springs better than Tessa's dad, an accomplished diver and underwater photographer. These are Amphibico housings, and, and dad actually helped um, design these. This little guy, it says shark confuser on it. Dad was such a strong guy. I mean, his shoulders were huge from carrying these things around, even underwater. These are all his photos. Advanced Diver Magazine covers and forum. This is an article about me, just a chip off the old man in Tessa's world. <laughs> Do you know what a spring is? A spring is a special place where water comes bubbling out of the underground. Just remember, springs are one of the most important things in your life. Wow. Okay, there I am. I love being on camera. I was such a daddy's girl, still am. Like Wes, Tessa is an accomplished conservation photographer. I thought that I was gonna be running around the world with my dad, helping him film and swimming with dolphins every week. And you know, at least I, that's what I hope. My dad passed away uh, on a Nat Geo shoot, shooting bull sharks. There was a rebreather malfunction, um, and he was in about 80 foot of water, and he simply passed out and drowned. I mean, that was the end of it. I'm sad that the world didn't get to experience him for the remainder of his life and that I didn't either. I mean, I was robbed of that, you know. If it weren't for free diving and, and meeting David, I think that my life would have gone down a more negative path. I hadn't taken control of my life. I didn't know what I wanted. And around the time that I met David, I was so entranced by that control over his mind that he had. I thought to myself, I was like, I've been diving my whole life. Why, why don't I have that ability? I want that ability. She hears the same call that I do from water. She is pulled towards it. Dave told me he struggled after a tough divorce until freediving and Tessa helped him reorient his life. She's a springs creature. She is a river creature. That's where she's happy. It sometimes feels like water is the third in Tessa and Dave's relationship. They talk about their feelings toward it all the time. 